is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop, and today we're working on the, uh, this is the compound clamp for the tool post grinding machine. Got it set up in the shaper. We're going to clean off this rough torch cut, and that will might almost do it. We only need to take about a quarter inch off this. Now, yes, there are many faster ways to do this. I could put it in my horizontal milling machine, do it in one pass. I could use the other milling machine. I could use the surface grinder. I just want to do it this way. Uh, and I could rotate the vise and do it in like probably three passes. Every, about every other month, I get in this thing where I like to mess with grinds on my tool bits for the shaper. So I'm trying out a new grind today. So that's why, kind of why I want to do it this way too. Um, you know, see it a little bit more in action. So yeah. Uh, let me get it set up. And we'll get it cut in. Let me zoom you in a wee bit. And you can watch it go back and forth. See how we do. Get it fired up. Bring the head down. The surface is so rough. It's, let's do a general, quick little cleaning pass. Okay, I'm engaging the power feed. We're gonna do about a 25 thou step over. There we go. See how much you can see of that. It's cutting very nice. That's a flame cut edge. Let me uh, get you off here. Probably do a little bit more of a step over on the next cut. It's taking a very nice chip, nice and thick. Okay, let me get this uh, this done, and I'll bring you back for the next cut. Okay, first pass done, cleaned up. Um, I can tell I didn't, the radius on my grind didn't match my feed rate. You know, messing with the grinds, that kind of stuff happens. I mean, it's smooth, but you can see 
you can't feel it really. But yeah, just something to, you know, again, messing with grinds. So now we can actually take measurements. So let me do that and we'll set up for our next cut. I'll bring you back. Okay, this should be our final pass of about 20 thou. I changed the feed rate and the uh, ow. surface finish is much improved. Much improved. Next time I put a bigger radius on that tool. That chip cleared away. We'll get it uh, fired up and I'll bring you back when we're done. Okay, that done. Sorry if you hear a fan in the background. It is currently 5,000 degrees in the shop right now. Let's see how we did. Ooh, that's a, that's a nice fit. There's no movement in that whatsoever. There's a little bit of resistance when you push it. So that'll work excellent. <clears throat> Very cool. Got some oil on it from in there. So yeah, now the tool post milling machine can be mounted on this lathe. Very cool. So quick little job in the milling machine or the uh, shaper rather, sorry. Uh, I was actually cleaning the shop while it was uh, cutting, so it's a good thing about a shaper. Okay, so we now get this guy, uh, we'll get it cleaned up and mounted up. And coming up here shortly, we'll do some uh, test cuts with it. This is Adam from Small Time Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.